The gold, golden is back in Georgian times. Um, created an incredible garden. They had a uh, real vision and uh, and oodles oodles of cash as well. So uh, and they they lavished it on the garden. So we've got a uh, um, an amazing orangery, um, a long canal pond, um, a couple of follies, the the tower that used to house a steam engine and pump bringing up water. Um, from, from the well below uh, to feed water features in, in the grotto and the grotto itself is, is just uh, uh, breathtaking when, when you first uh, come across it it's just so unexpected uh, an underground uh, shell and uh, coral lined uh, uh, cavern uh, with a, a waterfall cascade uh, running through big conch shells it's just uh, well, bonkers really <laughs> Yeah, the gardens, I think I'm right in saying it's about 11 acres, um, right in the heart of Bristol. Um, it was developed through the 1700s by uh, three generations of the Goldney family. Um, so, and it really is a, a hidden gem. There are different views on whether the tree should be removed and that view recreated. Um, but then again, the, the woods are an amazing wildlife and uh, wildlife habitat and uh, great for the environment. And they really are the woods in Clifton Wood now, <laughs> these woods here. My favorite part of the garden, um, I mean, this is, this is one of them. It's, it's kind of off the beaten track. Um, it, it's sheltered in the worst weather. Um, this is the old orchard. So we've got the apple, the blossom on the apple trees. Um, the apple trees are all old varieties that were grown uh, back in Thomas Goldney's day. And we're slowly developing the wild flowers underneath them to create more interest. And also um, it's, a, it's a good uh, eco, ecosystem, good habitat for wildlife, the long grass. Um, so, uh, so this is this is one of my favourite places, but it's hard to uh, to to pay, pinpoint. I'd probably have a different one every day if you asked me. 